Hi, this is Jason Rohr, and this is the fifth tutorial video for the controller interface of Sleep is Dead. This video shows more advanced usage of the object editor. Starting again where we left off last time, we have this underwater scene where the player can swim freely beneath the surface of the water. Let's imagine that the player might want to swim off this edge of the scene, and to enable that, I've created another scene with more pond area for them to swim down inside. Of course, this is looking a little boring. Let's imagine that there might be some object or creature down here for them to interact with. Let's create a new one from scratch. So let's open the object editor and clear out the existing object. And let's create a turtle from scratch here. So we're going to call this object turtle just to get us started. And we need some sprites for this turtle. So let's open up the sprite editor, uh, clear out this sprite, and start creating a bunch of sprites all with the same name, turtle. And by doing a search up here for turtle, we can see a, an accumulation of all the sprites that we create under this name as we uh, keep creating more and more without closing this editor. So first we need a color for the turtle. What color is the turtle skin going to be? Let's open up this color picker, pick sort of a, a darkish green color like this, add it for this turtle skin color. Um, let's imagine what the turtle's eye, let's say the turtle's going to have a black eye, um, add the eye color, and then a shell will be kind of a tan, a dark tan color. Um, let's add that, and let's say the shell has some kind of border on it as well, which is even darker. Um, actually, so switch there. Um, let's put, um, dump some of this color out into the scene just so we have a chance to pick it again once we switch wells. Okay, so let's make a darker version of this color, and a little bit darker, and add it in there. And then um, let's pick this color again, and let's say... Um, Let's make a highlighted version of this color for the shell as well. So the shell can have some highlights, the shell can have some dark spots. Okay, so starting off, uh, let's clear out uh, that temporary color that we put in there. Let's start drawing something that looks like a turtle's head. Um, with a little bit of a neck over here, and maybe some of those turtles have those kind of like terrapins or whatever they're called, have pointed noses, and those are kind of cool. So let's do that, uh, and then use the fill tool to fill it in. Um, and let's put an eye in someplace like that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's round him out a little bit more because he's kind of looking lumpy. Um, and round him out a little bit more down here. And switch to the erase tool. And erase some of that there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good for a turtle's head. So let's add that to our sprite picker. So now we have the head in place. Um, let's clear this out. And now let's uh, draw some legs for the turtle. Some legs here using the fill tool, fill it in, and let's give him kind of a dark toenail um, here like that, and let's round out his foot a little bit more um, like that. Okay, so there's a foot for the turtle. Let's add that. Um, let's flip it left and right and add that as well for his back foot. Um, now let's uh, do some sort of tail. Let's imagine this is like kind of a snapping type turtle, so it has a long um, pointed tail. Um, big fat tail, big fat tail where it joins the base. Um, made a little bit of an extra spot there, so let's clear that out. Okay, so that looks like a good tail. So add that. Okay, so we have a head, we have legs, and we have a tail. So now let's close the sprite editor and start dragging these things out and start positioning them to see how they start to look um, once they're part of our object. So drag these legs out, and we got a tail sticking out the back here, someplace like that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, now we need to create a shell. Now I want the shell to be kind of big and have lots of details to it. And I also want it to be a little bit modular so that I can tweak it. Um, and I don't want to paint the whole thing in one go in the sprite editor. So what I'm going to do is open up the sprite editor, um, clear out this turtle's head, and start painting with uh, these colors here, a big symmetrical scale that will be part of this turtle shell. So drawing it down like this, this is the edge of it. Round it out at the bottom a little bit. Let's round it out at the top. And then um, using my vertical fill tool, fill in, oops, undo that, fill in right there. And now fill in the rest. And now we can add some darker spots in the middle and add some highlights as well. Okay, so now we have kind of a bumpy looking, uh, something that looks like a turtle scale. Now we want to mirror this. We want to make a symmetrical copy of this. Um, and we don't want to sit there and try and copy all these pixels by hand. So in order to do this, we can use the stamp tool. The stamp tool makes copies of selected pixels. First, we have to select them with the select tool.
Right now, when we turn on the Select tool and the selection is toggled, nothing is selected. As we click with our mouse, we can add things to the selection or remove them. And we can also use the Fill tools and the Line tools to fill in areas as well based on, col uh, on similar colors. So let's fill in all this area um, for the entire uh, piece of this shell. Now let's turn off the selection and switch to the stamp tool. And now we can see that the stamp tool, if we press it, is going to place copies of that image into our sprite. So let's undo all those though, because we don't want to do that. What we want to do is make a mirror image. So we can flip the underlying sprite left and right, and then go ahead and stamp in uh, a copy of this one too. Okay, so now we have this nice symmetrical um, shell piece and we can add that to our database. So closing this editor now, we can drag out some pieces of the shell. Um, first of all, let's make sure um, the shell, because the, the shell, if we drag it out now, um, it's going behind the legs because um, the head was selected. So let's undo that. Let's switch so that we're on top of all the other layers. And we can do that easily by clicking the um, jump to top button here. So now we're on top of every other layer and we can drag these shell pieces on top of everything. So let's drag a bunch of them out and kind of make something that looks like a uh, turtle shell that's made up of multiple parts. Um, let's put another hump up here like this and another hump up here and then finally one at the very top that makes the top of the shell. Okay, so that's got kind of a nice rocky bumpy looking turtle shell um, out of several sprites. Now we can position the head and the tail a little bit better so they look a little bit more like where a turtle's head and tail would be, make the legs a little shorter. Okay, now turn the grid back on. Um, okay, so one other thing that I would like to do here is I'm going to make a nice little border area for the bottom of the shell. So starting with the, um, the border color, draw a little oval, kind of asymmetrically shaped oval, and let's fill that in with um, some of this lighter color and add a few highlights to it or something. Um, let's add a few highlight dots here. Okay. So that's another piece of the turtle shell. And now I'm just going to jump to the very top and drag all of these out along the bottom like this to make something that looks like a little border along the very bottom. Because um, turtles kind of have those little extra scales along the bottoms of their shells. OK, now switching back uh, to the, the view without the grid, let's position some of these a little bit better. That's looking pretty good, and there. OK, so now we have this turtle with a pretty nice looking shell and all these nice uh, border tiles around the bottom of the shell and everything. So let's add the turtle to our database. And if we search for turtle now, there he is. So let's close the editor and let's drag that turtle out into our scene. And now we see that the turtle's anchor is right in the center of his body. And it's kind of a mistake because his legs are kind of going through the bottom here. So let's edit that object again and look at where we left the anchor. We weren't really thinking when we were laying this out, we were just kind of dragging and dropping. The anchor is right in the center of his body and his legs are hanging down below it. So that's not good. So how are we gonna fix this? We could go through and we could drag each piece of his body up and try and reposition them all one by one. That's gonna take a long time and be very tedious and be error prone as well. What we can do instead, and notice that also these tools current, will flip, the, flip and rotate the current layer. We can go to the very bottom layer back down through all the layers, um, and to do that more quickly, we can hit this uh, jump to the bottom sprite layer tool. That takes us to the anchor layer. Um, we can't edit that layer, but now these tools up here, we can rotate the whole object, we can flip the whole object horizontally, and if we click away from the layers, we can also move the whole object relative to its anchor. Keep in mind that if we click on one of the layers, we'll still select it and pick it, which we don't want to do in this case. Um, but by jumping back to the bottom layer again, we can click and drag the entire object around and get it positioned so that it's right in the center of its anchor and its feet are touching the bottom of its anchor. So let's add a version of that turtle in too. And let's delete the old one because we don't want it. It's got a mistake in it. And then go back out to our scene. Okay, so now we have um, the player and the turtle in the scene. And now we can add um, the speech bubble for this turtle and get it positioned properly because uh, obviously the game doesn't know where this, this turtle's mouth is in a weird spot way off to the side like this. Um, so let's test the flip left and right, make it a little higher. Okay, so that flip looks good. Um, now the turtle can talk properly. And if we, let's test the scene really quick. So the player might swim over the turtle and say, hello, and send the move back to us. 
And the turtle might, let's flip the speech to get it out of the way and say, hello to you, swimmer, and send that back. OK, so that's looking good. We've created a more complex object from scratch using the object editor. Thanks.